Hello makeup enthusiasts, welcome to Makeup Monday. My name is Lainey and today I'm going to be talking about the notoriously morbid endless any sandman fans out there if so mwah, i love ya we're going to be talking about the endless multi-chrome collection if you do not know the endless are a set of seven entities that kind of rule the universe they are characters in neil gaiman's epic graphic novel series called The Sandman. It was popular when I was in college. I'm old as shit. But if you like that kind of thing, if you like graphic novels, if you like fantasy, please check that out. This is not a promotion for a graphic novel. This is a makeup video. Let's try to stick to the topic. But seriously, Sandman, so good. So good. Oh, and I had a total brain fart. I pre-filmed most of this video, but I had every intention of having some kind of Sandman paraphernalia somewhere in this video. So I finally pulled out my death statue that I've had since I was 18 years old. Isn't she pretty? She's dusty. Oh, honey, you need a bath. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Anyway, she's going to hang out right here while I do the rest of my intro, and then she's going to disappear again because this video, like all of my videos, is going to get timey-wimey. So I have four of the multi-chromes. I do have this one full-sized pressed multi-chrome in the shade Delirium, who is my favorite character, and this happens to be my favorite color as well, score. And then I also have Dream, Desire, and Destruction. These are the mini multi-chromes. These are $10. You can, I, I'm sorry, multi-chromes, yes, but these are the semi-loose formula. I have to be really careful because I have spilled them in takes that wound up on the cutting room floor. So they're basically like little beads of beauty in here. So Desire is kind of a red, orange, yellow, shifting multi-chrome. Destruction is a green, blue, something else, shifting multi-chrome. I've got him on this eye. Oh, and Desire is on this eye. And then Dream is a that's not dream. What is wrong with me? I'm sorry, you guys. There are so many things going on around me right now. I can barely focus. But dream is a bluish, purple, greenish, shifting multi-chrome. And you will see all of them in this video. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you what they look like as eyeliner. And then I will show you what they look like as eyeshadow. And hopefully, I'll get the point across. No promises. Okay, that is some messy ass eyeliner. I would never leave the house with my eyeliner looking this bad, but since this is just for the purposes of a demonstration, I don't care. So I'm going to be using Delirium on my left eye. She is pressed, and I'm also going to be using Dream on my right eye. Ooh, my right eye. Ooh. This is a semi-loose formula, so you can kind of press it down into the lid and make it behave more like a pressed formula. So it almost looks like there are little beads in there. And Oh, I don't want to spill them again. Is that reading on camera? I don't know. At any rate, I prefer the semi-loose formula to the loose formula. I find it a little bit easier to work with. So we're going to put delirium on this side, we're going to put dream on this side, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so aside from this obvious fallout that I will clean up in just a moment, these multi-chromes look cool as shit. I would seriously slap on some lashes and leave the house and go run my errands with my eye makeup looking exactly like this. Even with the really shitty application of the winged liner, the duochromes kind of um, provide some forgiveness and they cover up some sloppiness. I love it. I really love it. You know what? I'll be right back. Okay, so that was an epic fail. I was on the Sephora website this morning. Yes, I made my table shake with my rage. I was on the Sephora website this morning. The new ABH Norvina Volume 3 Baby Mini Palette with little cherries on it just came out. I was waiting on the edge of my seat to order that because I said a long time ago that as soon as the mini volume three comes out, I'm probably going to get it. And when it came out and I saw it, yes, indeed, it was pretty. I wanted it. I was going to go get it. So I'm like, 
Screw it. I really like my eyeliner. I left my house without eyelashes on. I left my house. I will say it again. Without fake lashes on because I was so excited. I liked my makeup. I was like, yeah, Norvina Mini Volume 3. We're going to get it. So I went in, I went into the store and they were like, what? The what? We have the Norvina 3. I'm like, no, no, no. The mini, the baby one. And they're like, huh? It, that's not even out yet. I said, yes, it is. And they were like, no, no, it's not out yet. And I said, I swear to you, it is. They're like, yeah, but we don't get those for maybe two weeks after they release. And I said, no, I promise you, I promise you that I bought the big Norvina Volume 2 the day it came out. I was there at 10 a.m. I snagged that baby and then I came home and made a video about it. The day it released. I wasn't that emphatic when I was talking to the employees. I was very nice. I was like, no, I swear. I bought the two the day it came out. I promise I'm not crazy. They're like, no, no, no. We don't do that. And you know what? As I was driving home, I got angrier and angrier about how they were almost gaslighting me. And usually the people in Sephora are really, really, really nice. And I just love going there because it's always just a happy experience. Not today. They were dicks and they made me feel like I was a crazy bitch who was delusional about an ABH release. No. And I know that a lot of you don't care about a new Norvina release because let's face it, ABH had the new release runs a couple of months ago and you don't get diarrhea in public and live that down. And they had some serious diarrhea. So that stench is still in a lot of people's nostrils. To me, it didn't bother me. I didn't care. But I know that a lot of people are still a little bit salty about that. That is not the point of this video. Simmering down, simmering down, beautiful multi-chrome shadows, and I'm calm now. So using these shadows, using these multi-chromes on top of a black eyeliner reminded me of the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. Now this is filthy, I've had it for a while, and I know that a lot of people like to use these as highlighters, totally valid, totally beautiful. I know that a lot of people like to use these as inner corner highlights, beautiful. Sometimes they use them as part of a halo eye, beautiful. But I think some people have forgotten the thing that made me buy this palette in the first place. I will show you. Exhibit A, thick black lines. Exhibit B, Kat Von D Alchemist eyeshadows. So if you take these, and I know with a lot of multi-chromes padding, is the recommended application technique. Okay, so look how I just transformed my boring black eyeliner into this beautiful, shifting, colorful, interesting eyeliner. And that, my friends, is what made me want this palette and that is what keeps me reaching for this palette even though it's probably time to replace it, but you know what, it still works fine and it's powder, so I'm not worried about it. Anyway, that was what made me originally buy this palette. And so when I was thinking about how I had had trouble working with multi-chrome shadows in the past, I was like, oh, eyeliner. So notoriously morbid multi-chromes over black eyeliner, so good. I am probably going to be wearing my makeup like this for at least the rest of the week. I really love it, but I want to show you the other two multi-chromes that I have in my possession, and that is Desire and Distraction. And I'm going to leave my existing eyeliner on to show you how awkward it can be, or maybe it might be beautiful and I might sound like an idiot, but to show you what it looks like when you try to blend two multi-chromes together. So I'm going to go in with my Danessa Merricks in Blackout, I think that's the name of it, but the black shade, and I'm going to put down a dark base because that is the recommended way to use multi-chrome shadows according to most of the experts that I have consulted. If I'm wrong about that, yell at me in the comments. I won't get my feelings hurt. And I'm going to be using Desire on the right eye. Desire is a reddish, yellow, gold, orange, shifting multi-chrome. So I'm gonna see what that looks like over the purple Delirium eyeliner. Did that get lost? It pretty much got lost. And I am using one of these cheap ass little CoverGirl looking sponge tip applicators that I got for $1.99 at Ulta for like a 50 pack, whatever. They're cheap. 
I still love these things, especially for patting on product. And from what I understand, patting on multi-chromes is generally the way to go. You could use your finger. Uh, I don't want to make a mess, so I am using a sponge tip applicator. And I'm also gonna soften the edges of that. When you blend a multi-chrome too much, you just get black. But I'm not trying to do an official look. I'm just trying to demonstrate what these look like. And see, you do get that kind of black shadow hanging over the eye, which is not great for me since my eyes are deep set and I try to avoid really dark colors all over the lid. So, okay, logically, minus the fallout that does not seem to want to just wipe away with a brush. This is serious, man. Ugh. Anyway, minus the fallout, I feel like most people would say that looks pretty cool. I don't like it. I do not like a dark shadow all over my lid, but I will agree that it's cool and I'm going to try to work with it and try to make it to my liking. We'll see. But before I do that, I'm going to put some destruction on my right eye. Well, that could have sounded really, really wrong if you don't realize that destruction is a character in a graphic novel. Okay, here we go. And I'm choosing not to re-intensify the dream eyeliner just because I don't want to deal with even more fallout. My face is already going to hate me. So let's go ahead and zoom in and I will show you the shift of destruction. And let's see what happens when we blend it out a little bit just to soften the edges. Maybe if I pat it instead of using a wiper motion, it won't go so dang dark on me. Nope, still too dang dark for my taste. And I have got to clean up this fallout because I feel like a dumpster fire. So that's just going to have to do. Final thoughts. Okay. I personally don't like dark shadows all over my lid and multi-chromes with very few exceptions are going to be dark. You need a dark base to make them pop unless I'm completely wrong, but I am 99% sure that I'm right about that. Um, so maybe doing a whole eye look with multi-chromes just isn't for me, but like I said before, the eyeliner, the multi-chrome eyeliner, I am down with that, like big time. And I know that some of you out there may be thinking, but it looks fine, it looks cool. I would wear it just like that, even if I had your eye shape. Okay, um, thank you, do you? But I don't like it. I don't like it on me. That's not to say that I don't like the shadows. I will 100% use every single one of these shadows as eyeliner. Absolutely, and I will even consider buying the whole Endless collection. Like I said before, I just didn't feel like I needed all of them. At some point, I'm going to place another order on Notoriously Morbid because I love their website. If you have not checked them out, they have bath products. They have really cool clothing items and shoes, but the shoes that I got from them one time were really uncomfortable, but that could have just been my experience. They have lip products. They have highlighters. Oh, I have a highlighting palette from them, which has unfortunately been discontinued, but this is... <laughs> I'm just failing. This is the Ghostly Tales Multi-Chrome Highlighting Palette. You want me to swatch it? Okay, can you see that? This is what it looks like swatched. I'll go ahead and just slap some of this on my face. Which color do I want to use? I think I want to use this one. Okay, so maybe I went a bit ham. Maybe I was a bit sloppy. Uh, my effort is just gone. I put a lot of effort into the eyes and so I have nothing left. Anyway, this is what the highlighter looks like. It's really pretty. I kind of wish that they would bring back this palette or at least make another duochrome, multichrome. Is this duochrome or multichrome? I don't know, but it's not your basic bitches highlighter. I really like it. I'm really glad that I snagged it before it poofed. So, notoriously morbid, if you're listening, <laughs> bring back some kind of cool highlighter. I love it. I think other people would love it too.
Okay, guys, I feel like I have babbled enough for one day, um, and I feel like I covered everything that I intended to cover. If I left something out, or if you still have a burning question, pop it down in the comment section below. DM me on Instagram or send me an email. I think my email address is linked down below. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. And stay tuned for a bonus video this week using the new Norvina 3 Baby Mini Cherry cute little palette that I just ordered because the people in Sephora were kind of rude. So that wraps it up for today. As always, thank you guys so very much for joining me. Follow me on Instagram. I will follow you back. Throw me a pity like. Give me some encouragement to make some more videos. Very special shout out to you if you are watching this video on the toilet. And until next time, enjoy your joy responsibly.